Good afternoon, my name is Stephanie Scott Geis. I'm the DARE officer for Mercer County. I want to thank you for coming here and uh, joining us for this graduation for the Salina Intermediate Schools for their fifth grade graduation. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to give a special thanks to the school here, uh, Miss Mrs. Hodge, uh, and all the teachers here. You have been great to me. I absolutely love the school. I also want to give a special thank you to Sheriff Jeff Gray and to the DARE boosters. Without them, we wouldn't have this DARE program and be able to come out and help all these kids. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to the Salina Intermediate School fifth grade DARE graduation. We would like to express our sincere thanks to the DARE officer Scott Guys for working with our students diligently each week. Thank you for teaching our students effective peer resistance and refusal skills so if they are ever approached with drugs they have the knowledge and confidence to say no. Also, thank you to our fifth grade teachers for making a difference in our children's lives every day. The influence of an amazing teacher can never be erased. Now, without further ado, please welcome Officer Guys. So over the last few weeks, we have gotten to know each other, right? You got to know me, I've gotten to know you. We went over a main key uh, ingredient and on how to resist and how to make healthy choices. And that was the DARE decision-making model. Define, assess, respond, and evaluate. So define, what are choices, what's the problem? What is the opportunity that arises? Assess, what are choices? What, what are the risks on us? What are uh, the consequences of each, each risk? What are my choices? Respond. You're going to make a choice and you're going to run with it. This is my choice. This is what I'm going to do. But remember, if you're refusing, you're going to do it confidently, not unsure and not demanding. Then evaluate. Was this a good choice? Was this not a good choice? If I would do this again in the future, would I change something up? So remember, kids, as you go through life, make the right choice. Now, remember, the right choice is not always the most popular. And the popular choice is not always the right choice as well. I want to thank you guys for being such an awesome class. You guys were fun. This is my first year doing it and just keeps getting better and better with these classes I do. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Geis. I want to thank him for coming into our classrooms every Thursday or Wednesday, Thursday to present those DARE lessons. Um, he dealt with some challenges with our smart boards and learning how to use them. He made cahoots for us and was just an awesome leader for our DARE program. We appreciate you and we appreciate the Mercer County Sheriff's Department allowing him to come into our classrooms to do that. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Hodge, for giving us the time as well. Uh, right now I want to introduce our keynote speaker who is going to actually do a demonstration for us. Uh, I'm going to introduce Deputy Forstoffel and his canine dog Aussie. They have been together for four years. I've lost my notes here. But he's been with the Sheriff's Office for eight years. He's going to explain a little bit about the canine program and how they work together. And then if you have questions at the end, he would be glad to answer those. Deputy Forstoffel. Um, article searches, evidence searches, 
uh, building searches, area searches, and also tracking. Okay? The tracking, he's trained to uh, detect human scent on the ground and he trail tracks, is what we call it. So he finds the where somebody might have ran, and every time we walk, every time we take a step, we lose some scent. He picks up on that scent trail and that's where he goes from there. It could be used for two reasons, either finding a bad guy or finding somebody that's lost. Okay? Say a young person or a little kid gets lost out in a cornfield or a woods, we can use Ozzy for that. Or if a bad guy runs from the police, we can use him for that as well. Okay? Just a little bit different on how we approach it. Um, if we're going for a bad guy, I'll give him a little bit more room. That way he can get ahead of me. If he sees the bad guy finds him, he'll go ahead and engage on the bad guy and fight him. Okay? We're looking for an elderly person or a small child. I get you a little closer, and when we start seeing him get close, he'll act a little bit different. That's how I read him. Um, and we'll find the person that way, okay? So, building searches. He's trained if we see, think somebody broke into a building or uh, residence or something. I can use Ozzy. He uses to see it. And he'll go into that building and he'll search for the person. If he can find the person, he's going to engage him. He's going to buy it for us until we can get to him. Um, and then same with an area search. Okay? Say somebody goes and runs from us and hides in the woods, but it's not really not safe for us to go in, okay? Whether they're armed or with a knife, gun, or something like that, we can send Ozzy in, and he can say it's dark out. He'll use his nose instead of just his eyes, okay? He uses that strong nose that these dogs got, and he'll find the person. If they're hiding in a tree or something where he can't get them, or hiding in a room where he can't get to them, he'll start barking, okay? From there, we'll go in and we'll help him find the bad guy the rest of the way. And he uses his nose to help take advantage of fact that whether we can't see very well or if it's a dangerous situation for us, okay? He's a little faster, he can get around a little quicker than we can. So with the evidence searches, okay, article searches, what he'll do is he'll use his nose to find something that somebody might have dropped. Whether it be a key piece of evidence for a crime or whatever it may be, um, I can send him into an open area, grass area, and he'll start searching for anything that might have been dropped. Works really great when you lose your keys. So anyway, we'll do that, you can find a gun, bullets or knives or whatever that might be key important to a crime, okay? He'll find it and he'll lay down and look at it, okay? The narcotic side of things, so we use him a lot, and this is what we mainly use him for. This is for narcotics detection type things. There's five main drug groups um, that he's trained to sniff, and he's got a couple other ones he's been exposed to that he's done well with. Um, so all the drugs that deputy guys talk to you about that are bad, that's what we're out there looking for, okay? We're out there to make sure everybody's trying to stay off the drugs and we're trying to find the guys that are using drugs, okay? So we can use him to walk around a car, go through a house, and what he'll do is he'll use his nose to find them drugs and he'll sit and stare at where the drug's odor is coming from, okay? Because like I said, their noses are super strong and that's how they find the drugs for us, okay? Um, and then, so we did article searches, tracking, building searches, area searches, okay? And then the fun part's the bite. Okay, that's the part that we get to do here in a little bit. Um, so say somebody, like I said, somebody runs from us, somebody insulting one of our officers, I can use Ozzy to go and apprehend him. He's not doing it to be mean, he's not doing it because he doesn't like the person, he's doing it for one of two reasons, to protect me, or because we told him to, if he can run faster than us, get a hold of the guy, hold him, until we get there to arrest him, okay? So what, like I said, we'll show you here in a little bit, don't be able to bite somebody, but the same respect, still think they're a friend if I tell a friend, okay? If I tell him to bite, he'll go bite. The second I tell him to stop, he's gonna stop, okay? And there's one time, we'll show you that, uh, that he's gonna be allowed to bite, that's not on command, okay? And that's only if I'm getting hurt. That's the only time he's kinda got like a pre-approval, pre-permission to go ahead and bite the person, okay? So before I get started on some of that, does anybody have any quick questions before we get to some of the bite stuff? Yes. How old is he? Ozzy is seven, or going to be seven years old this August. Yep. So there's five main groups that we're trained in. Uh, there's methamphetamines, there's cocaine, crack cocaine, uh, heroin, and then marijuana. He's still trained in marijuana. Yes. What's that? What? Morris? 
Um, so Ozzy's not that kind of dog. There's different dogs that are trained for more war dog type stuff. Um, but a lot of the war dogs are either what they call explosive dogs. So where he's trained to sniff drugs, they're trained to sniff explosives. Some, same way over there. Um, there are some dogs overseas that are trained to sniff drugs. Yes. Where does he sleep? So actually, Ozzy goes home with me, okay? So he spends all day at work with me, uh, or night, out of the work at night, and then he goes back home with me and stays home with me and my family, okay? He's pretty cool, I got three kids, loves the kids, just like we love you guys. Um, and he just goes home, we take his collars off, he's just like another house dog. Yes. Is he what? Is he a social dog? Yeah, so he's not a trained therapy dog, that we say, but we go into dispatch, and we're seeing everybody in dispatch and everybody at work. Um, he's very sociable with people. He's not aggressive towards anybody. He just likes to be in tech. Yes. So can you sniff other dog set? Another question? Okay. Yes, he can. Um, like say we're doing a track. We do a lot of training to where there's up, uh, distractions, we call them, or there might have been another dog walk. We train him to ignore them to track people. We don't use him to track boss dogs. Yeah, we don't train him to do that because then we don't want him thinking he's supposed to go looking for other dogs. One more question and we'll get to some of the other stuff. Yes. When did I hurt him? When did I get him? Um, I got him in the fall of 2017. Um, and we started on the road uh, actually Thanksgiving night of 2017. All right, well, we, can, we can answer some more questions here at the end. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do some fun stuff. Um, we're gonna have our wonderful volunteer uh, do some of the catching for us and do some bike riding. <laughs> so you can tell this is his favorite part of the day, okay? That bike sleeve is his favorite tug toy. We're gonna give him a quick bite here, show you how he bites, and I'll show you how he outs. Boost. <laughs>
We're going to have to get Ozzy some little shoes, little Nikes for next year. The poor dog is slipping all over the floor. Maybe my mom can sew him some little booties for his feet for next year so he can get some traction. All right. I know Allison Humagarn has been looking forward to this for at least a month. It is time for our DARE essay winners to read their essays. Boys and girls, we are going to be kind and respectful li uh, listeners. Remember, these people were voted by you as having the best essay. So we are going to applaud when they are done, OK? So our Team Black first reader, Allison Himmelgar. Deputy Guys taught me many things in DARE class this year. One topic Officer Guys taught me about was bullying. There are many different types of bullying, physical bullying, cyber bullying, verbal bullying, and social bullying. All of these kinds of bullying are very wrong and they make people feel really bad. In my opinion, physical bullying is the worst. You can really hurt somebody. If you ever bullied someone or you are, you should really stop. Deputy Guys taught me many things in DARE class this year. One topic Officer Guys taught me about was making positive choices around friends. If you, if your friends are, e are ever putting too much pressure on you to do something bad, you should just leave. If they are pressuring you to drink, smoke, or do drugs and you're underage, you should just not be friends with them anymore. If your friends keep pressuring you about the same thing you should, you thing and you keep saying no, you should just also stop being friends with them that person. Debbie Guys taught me many things in DARE class this year. One topic Officer Guys taught me about was what the DARE decision making model means. The D stands for define. You describe the problem, challenge, or opportunity. The A stands for assess. Find out what your choices are. The R stands for respond. You have to make a choice. The E stands for evaluate. You review your decision. Thank you, Allison. You did a fabulous job. Just go ahead and have a seat. We'll, um, when everybody's done, we'll have all of you go back to your class, okay? Our second Team Black reader is Zachary Jacobs. Come on up. Deputy Guy showed us a video of lungs from people that smoke. It was so nasty because there was so much tar. There are more than 200 known harmful chemicals in cigarettes. More than 400,000 Americans die from tobacco. Smoking can cause yellow teeth and smelly breath. It is legal to sell tobacco to anyone under the age of 21. Deputy guys talked about bullying. The, I think bullying is very bad because you can make people feel bad about themselves. So there are four types of bullying. Cyberbullying, physical bullying, verbal bullying, and social bullying. Physical bullying is, some, is where someone hits you. Never bully someone. Deputy guys also talked about alcohol. Alcohol can make you, your sugar level lower. You, alcohol can change your brain. If, if you drive when you're drunk, you can drive recklessly or you can get pulled over. You can get a fine if you do get pulled over. You should never drink too much. And our last Team Black essay reader, Eli Talmadge. Deputy guys taught me an unbelievable amount of information during DARE class this year. Drugs, for example, tobacco has more than 200, 200 known harmful chemicals. Another fact is that more than 400,000 Americans die from tobacco related causes each year. This is equivalent to almost 1.2 million deaths in just three years. Another serious topic is vaping. Some vape liquid contains chemicals that can cause lung disease. Also vape can cause popcorn lungs, which makes it very hard to breathe, and it can't be undone. If you were to take a plastic straw and breathe heavy in it, that would be, equi that would be the same as having popcorn lungs. Vaping also contains nicotine nicotine which contains young which contains young brain 
learning mood and impulsive control. Lastly, deputy guys taught me about alcohol. Alcohol is terrible. It can cause kidney stones, lack of blood, sugar, slowness and slowness in brain, etc. More than 95,000 people die from drunk driving incidents, which is almost equivalent to 180,000 deaths in just three years. Even professional football, even professional football athletes have either died or got hurt because of alcohol. Thank you, Team Black. Next up, we have Team Green. We have two readers, and our first reader is Haley Hinton. During D.A.R.E., we learned that when dealing with bullies, we use the five W's of reporting bullying. The first W stands for who, who is getting bullied. The second W stands for what, what is happening. The third stands for when, when is it happening. And the fourth stands for where. The fifth stands for why, why is it bullying. If it is bullying, it is a repeated behavior. Also, Deputy Geist taught us how to use a D.A.R.E. decision-making model. When being a D.A.R.E. decision-making model, you have to define, assess, respond, and evaluate. When you define, you describe the problem, challenge, or opportunity. Next, you assess. What are your choices? After that, respond. Make a choice and give information about your choice. Finally, evaluate. Review your decision. Did you make a good choice? I will not only use my experience in D.A.R.E. to protect myself, but to also help others. When dealing with bullies, I will use the five W's, and in other situations, I will be a D.A.R.E. decision-making model. Deputy Geist has influenced me to stay away from drugs and to help others stay away from drugs, too. Thank you, Haley. Next, we have Bernice Kramer. Come on up, Bernie. Deputy Guys taught me so many things about alcohol use and tobacco use. I'm going to start talking, by, talking about what I learned about alcohol use first. One thing I learned about alcohol use is that there are over 75,000 alcohol-related deaths a year. The second thing I learned about alcohol use is that it slows down your brain and body. Some effects of your brain and body slowing down are loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, loss of self-control, and slow reflexes. The third thing I learned about alcohol use is that alcohol weakens the heart muscle and reduces the amount of blood pumped to and from the heart. The fourth and last thing I learned about alcohol use is that alcohol goes directly to your bloodstream and can damage every organ in your body. Now I'm going to start talking about tobacco use. One thing I learned about tobacco use is that there are over 400,000 Americans that die every year because of tobacco use. There are also more than 50,000 secondhand smoke related deaths per year. The third thing I learned about alcohol use, I mean tobacco use, is that there is such thing called third hand smoke. It's when the chemicals from tobacco and other drugs get on your, a surface, for example, your clothes, and then the chemicals go into the air and others breathe them in. The fourth thing I learned is learned is that tobacco can in, can interfere with the way your brain works and, slow, and can slow down the blood flow. The fifth thing I learned about alcohol about tobacco use is that smoking can cause yellow teeth, bad breath, drier skin, cause wrinkles, give you cancer, tooth loss, and so many other health problems. The sixth thing I learned about tobacco use is that one cigarette, one puff out of vape, simply doing a drug one time can kill you. One thing I li really like about, about D.A.R.E. is that I get to learn so many things that I should or should, should not do when I get older or even at my age. I also like that if a bad situation comes up, I know what to do and say. I promise never to use alcohol, tobacco, or drugs ever, and I hope you chose so too. Okay, from Five White, we have Amy Hardesty starting us off. The day our decision-making model taught me all sorts of things, such as staying away from smoking, illegal drugs, alcohol, and much more. DARE has taught me that smoking is the act of inhaling and exhaling the fumes of burning plant material. Smoking can cause damage to your whole body, making it hard to breathe and have the ability to move. It causes cancer, lung damage, diabetes, COPD, and strokes. When, taking for a long, when smoking for a long period of time, you can get eye diseases and develop problems with your immune system. Smoking vapes are much worse than a little cigarette. Vapes have nicotine that causes you to get addicted to the vape. Vapes can cause problems with your immune system, such as 
having memory loss, slow brain, slow thinking, self-control, it can cause you not to be able to alert, to pay attention and your mood. They also contain toxic metals that could affect your whole entire body. They're also taught me that when taking allele drugs, it enters your bloodstream and affects to the brain, producing different effects to your body, triggering your body to go into a coma and heart attacks. Bad depression, blood disorders, dehydration, strokes, and hyperthermia can be caused by taking illegal drugs. Taking illegal drugs makes yourself feel and appear to look weaker. Comparable to smoking, illegal drugs can also make you have bad breathing problems. Lastly, Dare taught me that drinking alcohol can cause lots of cancer problems like mouth, liver, throat, voice box, and most common eye cancer. Drinking alcohol can make the brain work differently, not the usual way the brain should. Never drive when drinking alcohol. The number of common people who die from drinking and driving is 36,000 deaths per year. I will use DARE in my life because it might help to keep myself and others safe smoking, drinking, or using alcohol and using Illegal drugs can cause disorder disadvantages to your body. Liam Stewart. In Dare, I learned how alcohol damages the body. One reason why is because there are seventy five thousand alcohol related deaths every single year. However, most teens and young adults don't actually drink alcohol. But you should also know that alcohol slows down your reflexes and it weakens the muscles to the heart. It can even shut down the liver. Just so you know, mixing alcohol with medicine is very, very dangerous. But lastly, too much alcohol can lead to a coma or death. Another thing that I learned in DARE was how to be safe with prescription drugs and over-the-counter drugs. You can order prescription drugs from a doctor, but on the contrary, over-the-counter drugs can be bought off the aisles in stores. Prescription medicines are made to only help one person. Uh, over-the-counter drugs are not bad, they just can be used by more than one person if they need it. Do not, I repeat, do not under any circumstances overdose any medicines. Even if they're over-the-counter drugs, do not overdose them. But one last thing I learned in D.A.R.E. was about the four types of bullying. They are social bullying, cyber bullying, verbal bullying, and, and physical bullying. In my personal opinion, social bullying is the worst type of bullying that I can imagine. Sure, verbal, cyber, and physical bullying are bad, but social bullying can make you feel inferior, dumb, self-conscious, can even turn you into a bully as well, and the list just goes on and on. Abby Sanford. Hello, my name is Abby Sanford, and Dare Deputy Guys taught me many life lessons and important things about making good decisions. Also, he taught me to never accept drugs or alcohol because it could ruin your whole future. I have learned that stress can control you and make you do things that you never thought you would do or say. It can make you feel sweaty, make your cheeks get red, and you may even get very angry. You may start yelling, crying, or even screaming. It is very hard to control your stress sometimes, but once you learn how, it can be very easy. Also, you will be able to feel more relaxed about, without thinking about getting stressed again. Dare has taught me many me not to stress about every little thing and just to stay calm. Some other things I have learned in DARE is, DARE. Vaping can cause popcorn lungs and can cause lung diseases and can harm young people's lungs like you and me and can stop our brains from developing. Also, I learned that you cannot buy or sell a vape device to anyone under the age of 21. Some vape devices have up to three times more nic nicotine than cigarettes. Also, it can be a lot more addictive because of the colors and the taste. Officer Guys also taught me about bullying. It can be very hurtful and maybe even life-changing. There are four types of bullying, and they are all hurtful in different, word, different ways. Verbal bullying is when someone says something 
hurtful with their words. Cyber is when you say something mean about a person online, like in a text or on a social media platform. Physical bullying is when you hit, push, or hurt somebody with your body. Social bullying is when you say hurtful things in front of many people. When I am older, I will not do drugs and alcohol, and neither should you. It is not a good choice to do drugs and alcohol because you could end up in jail. Alcohol makes you do silly things that could get you into a lot of trouble. My choice in life is to be drug free. What will you choose? Boys and girls, at this time, we're going to start the, uh, their graduation ceremony with your certificates. So we, this is what we practiced this morning. So um, when I call my, my group down, we're gonna go around the cones and I'm gonna leave it up to the, the teachers and the boys and girls. If you want a handshake, go ahead. If you want a fist bump, that's great. Um, but when we get to the certificates, um, somebody's gonna hand you the certificate. So please shake hands with that person. Remember to make eye contact and remember your manners, okay? All right. Okay, here we go. Kenyon Aladu. Please hold your applause until the end, the end of each group. Sophie Anderson. Tenley Andrew. Ruma Anatak. Brian Benji. Elena Blake. Robert Clarence, Annabelle Dabble, Linda Edwin, Mary Lou Ica, Lindsay Elkins, Avery Hiley, Miana Jacklick, Adam Jacob, Emma McConkey, Patrick Overman, Chance Pettit, Noah Sutter, Braylon Williams, Lucas Schnell. Five one, Team Green. Congratulations. Okay, first we have Reese Bader. Carmelo Ballou, Angelina Bolkame, Ava Castorina, Millie Curry, Jenea Edwards. Mason Fleck, Connor Henderson, Colin Hunan, Rhiannon Hicks, Haley Hinton, Ava Howe, Claire Hewer, Bernie Kramer, Bolton Labock Meadow, Matthew Milton. Caden Mormon, 
Tori Shoup. Bristol Shreves. Addie Stuckey. And lastly, Ryan Wilrath. All right, from 5-3, first up we have Tristan Braun. Bella Bruggeman. Logan Burton. Ellie Cameron Long. Becca Castorina. Sarah Caudill. Bishop Chambers, Glenn Cooper, Ross Helmer, Bryson Howe, Bailey Houston. T.J. Klosterman, Lamwell Langledge, Reagan Martin, Chase Moore, Taylor Mullins, Madison Neighbors, Harper Post, Abby Sanford, Silas Schaefer, McKenna Tharp, and Austin Young. All right, now we have Mrs. Holman, 5-4. Kale Anderson. Kat Barlett. Adeline Chapman. Keaton Coleman. Linus Cook, Colton Kramer, Jocelyn Curry, Grant Edwards, Lakin Emmons, Alex Reedy, Leah Reinhardt, Lena Rhodes, Harmony Steinke, Tyler Thies, Jet Warner. Riley Wiseman, Kenna Westerfield, and Cambry Yoder. Aviana Bernholt, Carter Bradford. Jackson Brown, Augie Collins, Ryland Dross, Spencer Fast, 
Mason Feaster. Caroline Felver. Tatum Fetters. Kylan Fisher. Amy Hardesty. Devin Hart. Dominic Henline. Grace McNelly. Mason Silvers. Darian Stevens. Liam Stewart. Emma Temple. Temperance Labor. Gabe Zimmerman. And Ethan Adkins. Good job. Okay, five, six. They already knew they started to come. <laughs> Keegan Bowley, Allie Birch, Adeline Kaler, Ivea Contreras. Aaron Eckhart, Emery Gates, Jacob Hart, Zachary Jacobs, Nazir Joyner, Jalen Lamon, Tyler McClellan, Shaylin Means, Ashton Niekamp, Sophia Robinson. Lily Russell, Carter Smith, Leah Stiff, Travis Stump, Eli Talmadge, Bryce Eulenhake, and Hannah Whited. All right, if you have your attention, we have two more groups here. Congratulations, graduates from 5 7. Damian Brockman. Kieran Eberly, Elizabeth Gudeman, Allison Hemmelgarn, Brody Hoosier, Maya Kidwell, Molly Klosterman, Braden Kesters, Riley Ann Kohler, Macy Larger, 
Nora Lehman, Isabel Leininger, Jimmy Lametto, McKenna Lonsway, Irvin McFarlane, Javier Melendez, L. Misi, Callie Saint, McKinley Smelser, Kevin Sutter, and Justin Wolford. As my mom always said, you save the best for last. That's why you eat dessert last. All right, five, eight, here we go. Shh. Amelia Beckman. Casey Capel. Ariana Cottrell. Caitlin Heckler. Leah Hedge. Corbin Kinney. Noah Kesters. Zoe Mertz. Hunter Messner. Cameron Mulligan. Audrey Niemeyer. That, that, that was horrible. James Oric. Carisha Pfeiffer, back from the dentist. Madeline Rammel. Bryson Roberts. Landon Stabelli. Lexis Stuckey. And the last fifth grader to graduate there, Aiden Wiesinger. <laughs> Boys and girls, Deputy Geis is going to announce our honor students. So bear with us. If you are chosen to be an honor student, come on down to receive your medal. Do not, do not focus here. Do not clap until they're all down here. Just be patient. Remember what I said this morning. If you don't know when to clap, look, look at your teachers. Be patient. Wait till everybody's down. I just want to say this year with you guys, it was a very, very hard decision. So I base my uh, honor students on how well you guys participate in class and how well you do on the workbook. Now we only get to go so much through the workbook and sometimes you might have time to go above and beyond and do some extra work. So these are the students that I've found that demonstrated the best of that. For the first one, Maya Kidwell. Next, Sophia Robinson. Eli Talmadge. Molly Klosterman. Noah Kesters. Isabel Lanier, Rianne Wilrath, Haley Henson, 
Millie Curry, Annabelle DeBelt, Riley Wiseman, Congratulations. Harper Post, Jocelyn Curry, Colton Kramer, Darian Steven, and last but certainly not least, Abby Sanford. Now we can clap. Thank you again to Officer Geis and our wonderful CIS teachers for always putting the safety and well-being of our students first. We appreciate all your hard work and all you do for our students. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we're gonna get a group picture. So all fifth grade, we're gonna stay right there so we can get a picture with all, um, all of you in your wonderful, sh wonderful shirts. And then we will be moving to the cafeteria to enjoy some graduation cookies. Congratulations again to all fifth grade DARE graduates. We are proud of you.